children and adults who contract malaria lose an average of six weeks at school or work from illness. This disrupts business and leaves poor families short of income, food, and medicine. Last year, September, yeah. she got malaria. Mm, how uh, long was she sick? For two months. She was admitted for two weeks in Ooh. the hospital, and she even put his farm. So they had to put up their land? Yeah, the land. The World Health Organization recommends the use of insecticide-treated bed nets to prevent malaria. Nearly 120 studies from around the world have shown that these nets are an effective strategy in fighting the disease. She was sick for two months. They got malaria twice this year, oh. in the same year. Why didn't they choose to have a net before? They didn't know. Mm, okay. No knowledge. In addition to providing personal protection, the nets kill massive amounts of mosquitoes, leading to reduced transmission levels. Yeah, he's saying that uh, the baby suffered from malaria and he was uh, hospitalized twice. And have they considered buying a net now? Yes, sasa hivi mnaweza ukanunua chanda huo. Sasa hivi. He guarantee me. Yes. If I do a research here in this village. Yes. Find if there's even one. Traditionally, nets must be dipped in insecticide every six months. But less than 20% of the people actually retreat their nets, causing the nets to be ineffective over time. If as little as 80% of the population is using nets, malaria can be prevented. A Tanzanian company, A to Z, is working hard to fight this disease in partnership with Sumitomo Chemical and with support from organizations such as Acumen Fund. A to Z initiated a technology transfer for the fabrication of bed nets that last for up to six years and don't require regular insecticide dipping. A to Z has a unique manufacturing capability for the continent. Not only has it expanded annual capacity to nearly 7 million high-quality mosquito nets, it's one of the largest employers in Tanzania, with more than 3,000 employees, mostly women. A to Z's customer base is largely international aid agencies who distribute nets throughout Africa. It is now exploring further methods for reaching even more people sustainably through private market distribution. This means that it's selling subsidized nets through door-to-door -door sales teams, wholesalers and retailers, corporations, and others. The next step is to scale distribution. She said also, she said also she's happy, she's feeling happy. People are very pleased and very, very happy that these nets came around because kids can now sleep. Imagine a world without malaria. There'll be less tension, there'll be no more expense, expenses than buying malaria drugs, no ex hospital charges, there'll be no malaria. So that's our only killing disease in Tanzania. We know how to prevent this disease. The international community is waking up. And over $3.5 billion has been dedicated to fight malaria. Still, there are millions of Africans going to sleep tonight without the protection of a bed net. We need to act now to scale the solution.